I chose this master degree because I had a general interest in economics and also in technology. This master was perfectly combining this together with sustainability and that's what I wanted to do. As a business student, I was looking for a program where I could improve my technical skills, prepare for a career in decarbonization, and learn to work with people from interdisciplinary backgrounds. The reason why I chose this master can be summarized in two words, diversity and depth. Diversity in the sense of people, cultures, backgrounds, but also lectures and content. When it comes to depth, I think that the professors and the program directors has really been able to extract the key points of each and one of the courses. When I first discovered the existence of this master, I was really excited because it really matched with my interest in technology, but also my interest in sustainability. I wanted to learn more about it. And when I read a little bit the description of the master and the different courses and the different institutions, I really thought that it was a good fit for me. The best thing of this master is that it brings together people from different cultures and different backgrounds. For instance, we have 18 different nationalities in our masters and three different backgrounds, engineering, economics and management. I think that the community that surrounds the SMT program is its main strength. We're a very diverse set of people in terms of backgrounds, origins and even gender. That allows us to think about issues with very different perspectives, which is necessary to tackle climate change. What attracted me was mainly the different aspects, having a technology aspect, the environment, as well as the management, putting it all together. Um, it's similar to supply chain where you have it's not one dive in deep, but you get the overall um, view of different aspects. I think that's something that's really valuable. The most challenging part of the master degree for me was the group works. We have basically group work in every course. And this is a lot of fun to work together and get to know each other. But at some peak times, we have to coordinate many group works at the same time, which can be quite stressful. The program involves a bit of context switching. Sometimes you find yourself studying things like machine learning, the science of climate change, or business strategy in the same day. That's definitely a strength, but the context switching also means that there's a cognitive cost. The most challenging part of this master's for me is to tackle the technical courses. For instance, sometimes I feel that I'm missing some, some foundations. It's not a problem because of the professors and my colleagues, that they are always there to give me the piece of the, of the puzzle that I'm missing. People with an engineering degree or a degree that is combined engineering and management um, should really look for this master if they have this generalist ap approach and want to have a holistic point of view on the whole system um, because this master is really focusing on the bigger picture of everything. So if you want to work as a leader in a big corporation later on or found your own startup that does a bigger change in the future, then this is the right master for you. If you're a student who is interested in sustainability, if you're a student who is also interested in technology and who wants to make a change in the world, then this master is for you. I really recommend people with a background in supply chain as well as those who are interested in sustainable transformation uh, take this program because uh, you will find it valuable not only in the knowledge you learned but also the opportunities it offered through which you can apply the knowledge into real scenarios.